Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Crystal if you are new. Today's video is going to be completely different. We're not going to be doing any cooking or hauls but we are talking about food. Um, this is going to be the foodie couple tag so we got a couple of questions but before we get started into this video if you guys do enjoy it don't forget to give it a thumbs up. We really appreciate it. Also too if you guys enjoy these kind of videos or just want to see more make sure to hit that, uh, hit that subscribe button if you guys want to keep watching more videos like this. And before we get started, I want to say that this is a collaboration with my girl, Kenyatta. I've mentioned her before on my channel. I have actually collab with her before in a group couple one we did yeah. last time with another group of wonderful ladies. This time is just going to be um, a couple foodie tag, which I think is going to be so much fun. I can't wait to hear her answers. Um, I really like her channel. She goes live once a week. And me and my husband always enjoy it. I enjoy watching her, her husband, her family. She has tons of different kinds of videos, vlogs, cooking. Like I said, they go live. She also does haul. So tons and tons of fun stuff over there. So definitely after you guys watch this video, I would love for you guys to go over there and go check out her channel. Go show her some love and support. And I definitely guarantee you guys will get a good laugh and just a little joy watching her channel because I always do. I really um, enjoy watching her channel. So go check out her channel. I'm going to be putting her link down in the description. So go check it out and go show her some love and support. And now we're going to get started with this foodie couple tag. Um, wait one second. If you guys are coming from her channel, I quickly want to say thank you so much. I do appreciate it. And then last but not least, let me introduce my husband. If you do not know who no. he is, this is my husband. Jorge. Yeah, so Crystal and Jorge. And like I said, different kind of video. We're used to the cooking videos, the what's for breakfast, the what's for dinners. Don't worry, they're coming. Um, but this is just going to be like a quick little sit down one. And we're just going to have some fun, right? Yeah. Okay. We so, love cooking. Yeah, we love cooking. We're foodies ourselves. So the first question, and I am looking to the side because that's where my phone's at. The first one is, what's your favorite breakfast? Um, do you have a particular favorite one? Well, it's a tough one. I feel like I'm not used to eating breakfast, but no, if, that is true. But um, if if I eat it, maybe as well con chorizo. Yeah, that that is a favorite. During this time that we're at home, it has been hard because we usually eat big breakfasts on the weekend or like if it's a birthday, we go out to eat or something like yeah. that. And during this time, I feel like. Uh, like it's like 50 Saturdays every single day every weekend we're cooking the food that we normally eat on the weekend if that makes any sense um, but yeah I love um, French toast and like hush brown like I like my coffee in the morning or tea but I definitely definitely like if I like a breakfasty food it's either some good Mexican food or also to um, French toast with like hush well, brown one of the dishes that we like it's also a uh... I, I like, I don't know, maybe you're not that well, thing, but it, uh, well, rancheros. If well, rancheros have, we have, are really we have good. A video. Oh, I'll link it up in the iCard. Those low rancheros are, are the best ones. Okay. You guys will eat it and you'll so, try it. Yeah, really, really good. So the next question is, how do you drink your coffee? So if you guys are new, um, you wouldn't know this, but I am an iced coffee kind of girl. I just love it. I do drink hot occasionally, but it's just, to me, it's got to be ice. I love espresso coffee. I love um iced coffee cold brew you name it i love it and it's ice cold and it could be all year round and then i just add a premier protein shake and right now i'm giving a little shout out to cafe leano because that coffee oh my gosh best coffee i've had to this date and also that packaging that smells so so good if you love the coffee that smell of coffee definitely go check out cafe leano on instagram i'll put his details down below too and you like your coffee hot or iced? Right? Yes, I, I yeah. don't have no. I, I just like coffee. It doesn't yeah, matter. I, I I make his coffee, so I know. <laughs> I could drink it with a shake or just plain, just you know, the powder. Uh, yeah, coffee mate or yeah. yeah whatever. You, and then the next question is, what's your favorite sandwich? Okay, that's too too. Ooh. That's hard. I don't even know what I said right now. That's hard because I like sandwiches and tortas. It's like. But sandwich, like it could be grilled Board cheese, Bruce. Oh. Board and Brews. That's a, a place here in our area. They make the best. It's called a Turkocado. I like that one. Turkado. Turkado. Now I'm making up words. 
Um, it's sourdough bread. They add lettuce. They add aguacate. They add uh, turkey. They have like this spicy sauce and like this sweet and sour sweet, sweet, sauce. Yeah. I don't know. It, it's got everything going on. But I love stuff like that. I love a good sandwich, like a club sandwich. You're not a big fan of sandwiches like when you go to work and I pack it. But no. you have to be eating like here because yeah. it gets soggy and gross. Unless so I, I go to, like I'm saying, to, to Board and Brews mm -hmm. or... Or uh, Jersey like, Mike's, like like oh, like, yeah, like, like a, a sub, sub you know. Yeah, but other like than that, sub. it's just like I'm not a yeah, like a me? club a club sandwich. Those like are club really sandwich, good. Yeah, that's good. I like my bread toasted. I like jalapenos in it. I like I it like spicy, bacon, yeah. cheese. Yeah, you name it. Um, we we like all different kinds yeah. of sandwiches. Hard to pick a specific one. And then the next one is super salad. I feel like I'm gonna be saying it's hard to pick a specific one. Super salad. I like salads. I love my salads. And you too. You like your salads too. Yes. I and then soup. It depends too. It depends where the soup is coming from. Or if you're making it yeah, too. It yeah. could be like sopa tescana that I make at home. That one's good. Um. Or if you go to Chili's, Chili's if you guys have Chili's ooh. in your area, that enchilada soup. Me and him. We love it. We love it love that soup so i don't know it just depends but i probably would go more on the soup, soup. because caldo de res albondigas like there's so many soups and yeah. if you're mexican you eat soup all year round it doesn't matter if it's 90 100 you degrees mean, what outside. do you call it menudo you and, and pozole. that's almost like a soup too, they're right? caldo soup yeah but they're yeah i would consider more soup sopa fideo that's like a classic one yeah. so definitely i would say soups um, but I still like my salads. And then uh, sweet or savory. Um, ah, that's another tough one. I'm going to go with sweet because I have a sweet tooth. But then it's like, I don't know. I'm just going to stick to sweet. What do you What do you think? Savory is like... Como lo que comes uno, like, like, you know, didn't like... Mm. Like salty or spicy or something? Yeah, you can say like, no, not spicy, but like salty, like savory, like what's, what you're eating. I think I'll take savory. Uh, I like sweet, but not that much in my foods. <laughs> Thank you, me. I foods that much, you know. I'll take savory instead. Yeah. Okay. The next question is, what's your favorite cuisine? I actually have to look up what cuisine made. I'm sorry. Um... But mine is like, we like different kinds of styles of cooking. I don't have like a particular favorite one. I love Mexican food. But honestly, to me, I love homemade food. I love authentic food. And especially food that you cook from the heart. Like yeah. when somebody cooks from the heart and they cook with love, you can tell in that plate, the way they serve it to you, the way you made it, you feel the love. At least I do. And I and feel you, it. I feel like you could smell it. Like, oh, yes. That yes, aroma is yes. like, you guys um, did a good Good job. Exactly. So I like um, Mexican food. I love Italian food. I love Japanese, Filipino food, uh, Chinese food. I love a lot of those varieties. Um, but I love like the ones that are authentic, like yeah, the real too. deal. I love it. Um, and then the next question is cooking at home or going out for dinner? <laughs> Definitely for me, cooking at home but then there's those days that i've said it before on my channel that it's like you know treat yourself or like i don't feel good so then we gotta buy something or just you know go or on a day or tired, something or something. too tired yeah too tired so it's nice but most of the time we're eating at home because there'll be times where we'll be eating out often and then you get tired of it even though it's like good food you rather eat home yeah, yeah. home for sure home cooked meal there's Sometimes, nothing like home cooked the thing meal. is that the home cooked meal is like more, you know what you're gonna put on and you're gonna yeah, eat it. Yeah, you know Sometimes exactly what you, you go to restaurants and you're like, I've never been to this restaurant. What should I pick? You know, and it's yeah. just like, okay, you pick this and you take a bite and you're like, ah, oh, I don't know why I picked this. Yeah, I should have picked the other. You know, so yeah. it just. Cooking at home is the best way yeah. to go. And sometimes even like the simplest food, like I can make, you know, a salsa molcajete, um, a sopa fideo, and a quesadilla. And that's good. That's all you need. You know, add some aguacate. Unless you're you want to mimic, you know, restaurants. That's, that's good also too. another good option that's, too. I do that a lot. Yeah. I'll Ooh. mimic a restaurant and then like, you know, a copycat version. Yeah. Um, okay. So the next question is high end or hole in the wall. I would say um, so high in like a fancy restaurant or hole in the wall like something small. I we hardly have gone to a fancy restaurant or a high end restaurant. I think we've gone to like hole in the walls. There's one that's local in our area, and it's been popular for so many years. 
Um, I used to go there since I was probably a baby and my husband also too. We just never knew. And the place is so good. It's like all the grandmas and all the moms know what I'm talking about, right? Las cuatro mil. Pues. Yeah, they're making like tortillas, they're making their rice, they're making flautas, they're making tacos, menudo, you name it. They have a little bit of everything. And that place has a line all the way outside. Like, it's it's good. Like, I can't wait to well, go back well to known. eat there. Well known. It's well known. And um, it's been there for many years. It's probably been way before we were even yes. born. It's a yes, grandma sure. and papa shop uh, sure. restaurant. So, yeah, definitely. Ever I feel since like we that. moved over here to, <laughs> that, that's to our daughter's where thing. we live right now, because <laughs> well, um, I was born in LA. Yeah, LA, so, so I know that. Oh, God, thank you. To to our friends. Okay, so the next question is: I do my grocery shopping. You know it. Where do we go? Costco. Costco. If you guys haven't checked it out, that's what we're pretty well known for going to Costco. Where we can go. Yeah, you guys can't come. You stay with your nana and your tata for now. Usually they do come with us. We have a huge playlist. You guys can go check those out. If you're interested in watching no, Costco hauls, you'll come. see them um, like in the store and stuff like that. It's okay. Uh, so the next question is, what should not be missing in your kitchen? Um, Lower seasoning. Oh, huh? Lower seasoning. Lower seasoning. Seasonings in general, right? You gotta flavor it up. I, that's a good one. I didn't even think of that. I would like to say my garlic press. Um, especially if you use a lot of garlic, um, a garlic press. I remember I used to mince it by hand. Um, I don't like the jar. I've bought it before. It's just, it's my preference. No judgment on anybody who does. There's nothing wrong with using the jar. It's just, I do prefer fresh garlic. I feel like there's a big difference. But I used to get so lazy chopping up so much garlic. So that garlic press, you just put it in there. I'll try to link one down below in the description so you guys can go check it out if you guys are interested. But I really love my garlic press. My mother-in-law uses so much garlic that she doesn't have one and she was just telling me she wants one. So I told her we're, we're going to pick her pick up one for her because it's really handy if you use a lot of garlic. What is your favorite snack? What is your favorite snack? Ooh, um, I would say Snickers almonds. Some Snickers almonds. almonds is really good. Yeah. Lately, what I really like is I like like fruit with with chile tajin and chamoy, or like that liquid tajin. I'll do apples, I'll do strawberry, or I'll do watermelon. <laughs> Lately, I've been craving the mango one. That's the one I really, really want to do, but I haven't had a chance to do that one. Um. But definitely, I love like fruta with chile and tahini, like my mouth awesome. is watering. Yeah, it does. That's been my favorite snack lately. Uh, so the next question is, what is on your pizza? Ooh, I might get bacon. Bacon, bacon at all yeah, times. Bacon. I have to have pineapple. I'm crazy and I love pineapple. You're either with me or you're against no. it. Since I tasted a pizza from one of my co ex coworkers, I think that pizza was super good, which is. Chicken, no, right bacon, no, uh, alfredo, that sauce. alfredo sauce. Yeah, and we like to do that out and, and it has tomato also. Awesome. It, it sounds weird, but it's really good. So, um, I like pineapple and chicken or pineapple and um, bacon. bacon or just pineapple on its own. That's always been me. I love pineapple. He likes it too. I know not a lot of people like pineapple, but I'm just a pineapple kind of girl. Um, and then what, what's the next question? What food do you really dislike? Like, what's something that you don't like? Lentils. Lentils. My mom makes lentejas. a lot. They call it lentejas. My mom used to make it when I was little. And I would dislike it at all times. My mom would be like, you gotta eat it. I'm like, nope, I'm not gonna eat that. I'll just make myself a bread with butter. Uh -huh. Well, like me, I'm trying to think of something that I don't really like because I, I like a lot of food, but there has to be something that I'm not like a fan of. But I'm like, mm -hmm. I'm not sure. I, I don't really remember right now. If I remember, I'll put it like, I'll type it up. But I really, I really like a lot of different kinds of foods. And then the next, next question is, I couldn't live without, what is something you can't live without? That's a big for me, I can't live without tacos. Like, I need tacos in my life. Tacos. Tacos. It has uh, to be tacos al pastor. <laughs> without internet, I don't know. No, we're talking about food. Oh, oh, I'm not. Señor. <laughs> no, without. 
pretty much, I would say, without Coffee. chips. Without chips. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah. Most of the time. I, I, so the next question is are you particular about your popcorn um it's funny because we actually make popcorn pretty often here in our house i just get a brown bag i add popcorn kernels and i put in the microwave for like two minutes and 20 seconds and then um i put it in a bowl and i put a lot a lot of butter because my girls love it with butter and then salt and that's exactly how we have it but my sister-in-law ariana was just telling me that she saw this girl put like M&M's with peanuts on it and then melt it. I was like, that sounds kind of like good at the same time. I don't know. I love cheese popcorn. Ooh, cheddar popcorn. Yes, that's where it's at. Uh, most of the time when we go to Costco, but lately we haven't bought it, but there's a, there's a... That zebra? No. It's, a, it's called a Chicago mix. And it oh, has we bought that caramel, one. I've showed it in my house. That one's really good. It's like a caramel sweet and, cheddar? and savory Ooh, combo. That's super That one's good. really, really I good. I recommend that one. Okay, so the next question is, share a helpful kitchen tip. Um, for me, I could just say is keep it easy and have fun. Experiment in the kitchen. Not all the time things are going to come out right. Not all the time things are going to taste great. Um, I'm by no means perfect at cooking. I'm, like, I'm not like the greatest chef. But definitely messing around in the kitchen, trying new things, seeing what works for my family, what I like and what my family likes. And then, you know, just... Just have fun with it. It's more fun too when you cook with someone else. Like we like to cook together, so that makes my, it fun. My tip at all times is you you taste your food while you're cooking. Yes. Because yes. if not, you're not gonna get the exactly. food. And then yes. you know you just serve it and you're like ah you That's eat it and you're like tip. oh my gosh it didn't taste that it needs something so you while you're cooking you just pour a little bit in your hand. Mm -hmm. uh, it needs a little bit more of this. You yes, know? that is so a great tip. That's, good, good that's tip. one of the tips that I would recommend for anybody who's cooking. Okay, so the next one is, what food would you rather buy than make? Like sushi. I really want to make it, but I haven't had the chance to like try. I've seen people how they make it, but I'm kind of like, like, oh, what if like it doesn't come out like the roll? I don't know. Um, but one of these days, I definitely, I feel like we should try making sushi. Why not? Yeah, why not? Like a simple California roll. You don't got nothing to lose, right? Yeah, that's true. That's true. Experiment, just like I was saying. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So, um, um bye, what, bye. Huh? Uh, I know what. When we go sometimes to pho, to pho oh, places. Oh, that's pho. another one. I've, the soup. I've pho researched how to do hard. it, and it just, it's. Yeah, I've seen videos like really good videos, and I like chicken out. But it's it's I go back to the, and then it's a lot of work too, yes. like clearing the broth and everything, having the right spices and everything. Um, but definitely, yeah, it's one of those things I would love to try to do. Um, and kind of like my own advice, like just experiment. So I got to give that to myself. So the next question is, and yeah, pho is so good. Um, the next question is, do you like to read cookbooks? And we do. We actually have this one right here that he just got with a set of like the griddle stuff that he has. And we actually saw one and you guys are getting a heads up. We're going to be trying one of these in our, um, in what's for dinner. I normally don't read too many cookbooks, but I like them. Like we don't have any. This is well, one we have. Pretty much I we do. don't read them, but we just eyeball them and see yeah, what, what see looks, what they have what looks and... interesting. Because some, like most months we get also like that Costco. I think you're making Costco. something like this. The Costco, you know, uh, sends okay. you like a magazine and then send you like recipes mm -hmm. also. And we see them, but we're like, oh, we should try this. But other than that, yeah. we don't, oh, well, let me see we specific, you know. But specific. I, I like to, when I was younger, that's all I would read in, in, in libraries. <laughs> um, they had like kids ones and stuff like that. Um, the next question is, have you ever met a cheese you didn't like? And yes, I have. I love cheese, but there's a cheese that I'm like. I've tried it so many different times. I don't like blue cheese. Oh, you don't like blue cheese? I um, like it kind of like a little, like in a dressing. No, 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 why? Um, just... I don't like brie. That one's like really, tangy. Really it. I've tried it and it's like, mm -mm, it ain't for me, sweetie. I tried it at Costco uh -uh. and it was weird. I've tried it at Costco. I've tried it at the house. But My blue, dad got me blue, one from Trader Joe's. For me, you know. Blue cheese, yeah, it's a little strong. But when I put it, like when they serve it to you, like with buffalo wings, it tastes good to me. Wow. 
and a dressing. Okay, so the next question is, do you eat leftovers? We love them. We love them. We love leftovers. Like today. Um, we don't have to go that yes, far. Yes, yesterday we had fish tacos, which you guys will also see in the what's for dinner. Um, and today we had leftover fish tacos. Very delicious. You can always pair your leftovers with something else. So if you made one thing and you ran out of it, just pick a different side or incorporate it. Like for example, I'll make chili. We'll have it chili with cornbread. The next day we'll have chili cheese fries. And if there's still chili, chili leftover, dogs. chili cheese dogs. So make it happen. Um, so we love our leftovers. Um, then the next one is Miracle Whip or Real Mayonnaise? Real, Real Mayonnaise. First of all, I don't like none of We don't but, really like mm -hmm. But if I'm going to eat mayo, I might as well eat the real one. Yeah, nothing against I'm not, I'm, I'm not people who like Miracle mayo. Whip. Why am I going to lie? My mom would only buy a Miracle mm -hmm. Whip. That stuff is nasty. I'm sorry. I just don't like it. And if you, if you are answering these questions at home and you're saying Miracle Whip, I'm sorry. Don't don't be offended. It's just my opinion. Um, I like real mayo. And to be specific, the one I like is the Best Foods. I always hear about other people saying the Dukes, and I really want to try that brand. Um, but so far, it's the Best Food. That's what I um, really like. Yeah, I don't even like that so that much of a mayo. That I just put like a little. Yeah, little I always tip. put like a little. Little, you know, little on my sandwich. Mayo. So yeah, um, it makes, yeah. Unless it's like a tuna sandwich, you yeah. don't mind. Okay, what are your holiday food favorites? Ooh, um, tamales. Cheesecake. Oh, no. oh, cheesecake. Yeah, you love cheesecake. We love cheesecake. Yeah, yeah. the cheesecake that that um I make. I actually, have a video on that. <laughs> um, I make it in the Vitamix or a blender. Because we don't get cheesecake all year, so pretty much that's a. I make it for Easter, for Christmas, for Thanksgiving, yeah, well, for your birthday. Exactly. Holidays, right? Pues sí. It doesn't uh, exist. But, uh, yeah. Um, I like tamales and for, oh, like, Christmas. Tamales, like, the yes. beef tamales, the cheese tamales, the, the sweet tamales, the the dulce tamale. Like, any tamale, I really don't ham. mind on it. We love And ham. then the spiral ham. I have a video on that, too. Yeah. Um, also, too, the, the um, like, Thanksgiving, the mashed potatoes, the corn. Yes. Um, yes. The turkey, the ham, like everything. Oh, it's so good. And then just being with family, I love that. Like, it makes me happy. Being with family and f good food, like, to me, that's all I need in life. I'm set with that. Um, the next question is, do your vacation pictures ever include food? All the time. Yes. All the time. Yes. I will take so many pictures of food, and I don't even post them. I honestly really like taking pictures of food. Um, I don't know. I just like plating up food. It's very therapeutic for me. And, um, I just, I love it. There's times where I don't even take a picture of food and I still plate it really nice. And it's just for me, you know, cause I'm going to eat it or I'm making it for somebody else. I really enjoy plating food. Um, but pictures. Yeah, definitely. You yeah. gotta, it's great memories. We have some of Disneyland, oh. um, of like the Ariel's Grotto when it was still there. That was like of the food. Crazy. I think that's probably one of the fanciest places we've ever been to. <laughs> In Disneyland. Mm -hmm. they, it doesn't it, exist anymore. It's pretty bad it doesn't that it exist doesn't anymore. exist anymore. But yeah. But we even um, have the badge. So yeah. that's pretty cool. Yeah. That yeah. If I can, us, I'll, I'll answer a picture badge. here of what the food looks like. But it was it was really good. Okay. So the last question is, do you like and have you ever eaten wild game? I haven't. But Mr. Jorge has. I ate deer. He my has ate deer. My grandma made uh, a, uh, they, they gave us like the leg of a deer. And she got it and she made it like into a barbacoa. It mm -hmm. was pretty hard, but it was good. It had oh, a good taste. Oh, it was hard? It's, it's not like soft like if it was beef. It's more, oh. more like. Chewy. You know, chewy. But it, you could get through it. It's. Oh, Okay. Okay. But I also ate some some crazy thing that when I went to Mexicali once, uh, my grandma told me if I ate a heart from a cow. That's Ooh, pretty. That's pretty, that's pretty out good. there, you know. Yeah. I never. And I told her no, and she said, "Oh, well, you already ate it." And I was like, "What do you mean?" Yeah, we they grilled it and they cut it with carne asada and they mixed it together. Typical. <laughs> Typical Mexicans, they, 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 they give, they, it, to, they they give it to you, they, and then at the, end, at the end of the day, oh yeah, you, you ate this? No, well, yeah, you already ate it. You ate so octopus, it was, you ate it was, fish. Lo it was lovely. Yeah, it's pollo. Oh, wow. Grandma, I don't want to come back to Mexico, you yeah? but <laughs> it, was, right. it was good. You know, we it kept was really going. good. The thing is, I think, 
like I come back to the same thing. If you flavor the food, you it, could, it, it, could, right? it, yeah. it, it could be the nastiest food there is and you could just, wow, it smells good. I'm That's hungry. So and you taste it and you're like, oh my God, it's so good. And you eat it. So at That's the end so of the day, you, you, you could see like the worst. But if you taste it, it has that exact flavor that you really want. You know, your taste buds just, oof. That's, mm -hmm. I think you're just going to keep going. You're not going to stop until yeah. you finish. I think you're spot on with that. And that was the last question. Really great answers. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. For more videos like this, you guys enjoy these kind of sit-down videos, uh, make sure to hit that subscribe button. We also do have a family channel, so if you made it this far, you guys want to keep watching more, we do have a family vlog channel called Familia Adventure. It'll be in the description as well if you want to go check that out. And also, don't forget to go show Kenyatta some love and support. You guys, I'm telling you, you guys will love her channel. Um, I can't wait to see it. I'm so excited. And subscribe. And we will see you guys on the next video. Bye. Bye. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Look so beautiful. And I'm so lucky to be yours.